Okay, here's another algebraic question. One that might seem hard at first, but if you read it carefully, it's not really that difficult. Now, have a look. Prove algebraically, so using algebra, that the difference between the squares of any two consecutive integers is equal to the sum of these two integers. Okay, let's just have a look at the words first of all. Consecutive means a number that follows another number, for example, 18, 19, or 5 and 6, or 100 and 101. Integers means whole numbers. Sum means added. Okay, so that means if we had two consecutive integers, it says prove that the difference between the squares of them, so if we were to square them both and find the difference, that would be the same as if you could, took those two numbers and added them together. That what means the sum, the sum of these two integers. Okay, so prove algebraically that the difference between the squares of any two consecutive integers is equal to the sum of these two integers. So, because it says prove algebraically, you can't just take any two numbers and test it. Okay, I mean you could try it. So, for example, if you take 2 and 3, it would mean the difference between the squares of these two numbers. So, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. The difference would be 9 take away 4, which is 5. Prove that that's the, equal to the sum of these two integers, so 2 plus 3 is 5, so it works. But, you can't just use one example, you need to prove algebraically that it works for everything. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the first number, we're going to take it and, and we're going to call it x. Now, if our first number is x, the next one, if it's consecutive, is obviously going to be one more. So that means we're going to take our next one, which is going to be x plus 1. Now we're trying to prove that the sum of these things is equal to the difference of their squares. So first of all, let's find out what the sum of these two things are. How do you do sum? Well, you add them together. So if I add those two things together, you get x and x and 1, which is equal to 2x plus 1. So hopefully, what we're going to do now, we're going to find the difference of the square of that and the square of that, and hopefully we're going to get 2x plus 1. And if we do, we've proved it. So, if you take x and square it, you get x squared. Okay? If you take x plus 1 and square that, well, you get x plus 1 in brackets squared, which is equal to x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. Now, we should multiply that out. That gives us x squared, so x times x is x squared, and then you've got 1 times x, which is plus x, and then you've got another 1 times x. Remember, you can use the claw method here, so x times x is x squared, x times 1 is 1x, which I'll just write as x, 1 times x is another x, and 1 times 1 is 1. Bring all that together, and you've got x squared plus 2x plus 1. So that's the square of x plus 1. That over here is the square of just x. We need to prove that the difference of these two things is equal to the sum. That plus that is 2x plus 1. That's what we're trying to get. Okay. So how do you find difference? Well all you do is take away one from the other. So if I take this bigger one, x squared plus 2x plus 1, and I take away the other one, x squared, watch, that x squared is going to go because it's x squared take away x squared, which leaves us with 2x plus 1, which is the same.